Remaining present to the feminine energy is how you just understand, understand women. Understanding women is not just about going out there and wanting to do a few approaches or a lot of approaches, getting women into bed and dealing with their emotions and going through that cycle over and over and over. Because that cycle will become boring at some point and you will want to know more. You will want to know what else is there out there for me to learn. And as I've seen myself do this over my time of just learning and learning and learning about women, I start to see that, and through my studies and learning from David Data, and I wasn't learning from firsthand, but in learning through his studies and my own inspirations and my own meditations on what the feminine and masculine is, being present to women is really about learning to be present to the feminine at large. And the feminine at large is life itself. Everything around you that you can notice is feminine. If it's changing, it's feminine. It is, if it's expressive, it's feminine. If it shows joy, if it shows excitement, if it shows everything around you, if it, show, if, if it gives you emotion, that emotion that you have is even feminine. Being present to the feminine all the time is how you learn really how to completely be present with women when you're there with them. And a lot of times I'll talk to students about when you're out talking to girls on the streets, one of the most beautiful things you can do and one of the most helpful things you can do to being able to be present with women is to be present before you meet the woman. Be present to the feminine itself before you walk up to the woman. Because of course the woman is the most beautiful and, 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 and luscious and, and sexy form of the feminine. Just learning to be present to the feminine all the time. This is how the best, this is how me and, and the guys I work with and some of the guys I see out in the community and guys I've met in my life, this is how we are, are so good with women. It's not just from the approaching part. It is being present to the feminine at large. And when you're present to the feminine at large, which is life itself, the changing in life, the, um, the chaoticness in life, the randomness in life, when you're present to that and you're around a woman, a woman actually is the microcosm of, of, of the, the, the world at large. Because she's a feminine form, but the whole world is feminine. The whole world is a girl so to speak. And learning how to, and this is David Data coming through me, I feel like, but learning how to be present to the world at large, or the girl at large, the big girl at large, allows you to be present to the girl that's in front of you. Women give me all kind of shit, especially the woman that I'm with right now. Um, we're really deep and we have something that's incredible and meaningful. And when I'm with her, I'm so present to her because I'm so present to life. When I walk around, 75% of my day or 80% is lived in meditation. I'm constantly feeling my body. I'm constantly sitting in my core all day. So when I meet her, it's not a thing of, okay, can I be present? It's, I'm just present with this feminine form. This is the feminine form that, you know, we have sex together and we, you know, laugh together and we have love together and we kiss each other. This is the feminine form that I can actually feel as far as like bodily and being close to. But all day as I'm walking around, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling the energy flowing through me. I'm feeling my emotions as they're changing. I'm feeling the times where I'm scared. I'm feeling the times where I feel anxious. I'm feeling the times where I feel joy. The feminine energy that you crave is not only women. Neediness with women is just a crave a lot of times for feminine energy. It's a crave for the feminine energy of a woman and the feminine energy within yourself. The feminine within yourself and a woman, that is a lot of times what you're craving when you become needy. And the feminine at large, you don't know that you can engage in that and that can take away that neediness. Crave the feminine, but don't be at the whims of the feminine. Which means that 
it's, a, it's okay to want a woman. It's okay to be there with a the woman and just want her so completely. But once you start to allow just women to be your only source of feminine energy, that means that every single time you want to have something that's soft in your life, something that's soft for you, expression, love, tenderness, joy, you always seek that in a woman, every single time. And like I said guys, for you to be able to have women in your life, I mean many women, as many women as you want, and have the choice to not have women at points in your life, you have to not need women. You have to not need women in your life for you to have women in your life. Because the moment you need that form of feminine energy, I mean need it, meaning like that's the thing that goes, okay, this is the thing that I need to get because if I do get this, then I'll actually will feel better. This is the feminine form that I know that, you know, right now I don't have and I need this. The moment that you're craving that and it's, and it's taking over you, you'll struggle getting women. You'll struggle. And you'll always go into situations with women and you'll always come out needy and you, it'll become a cycle of, I need feminine energy, I need to go out and I need to do a lot of approaches. Okay, I got feminine energies in my life. Now I want feminine energy. I want to keep it all to myself. Oh no, she's not texting me back. Oh no, no, no. With every situation that happens, and you become deflated and depleted. And this is why many guys give up on this journey because they go, it's not for me. They just don't know that all they crave is feminine energy and they only see it in one form. The form that you need to learn to see feminine energy in or need to learn to be the witness to is all of life itself. The changing that's happening around you. The changing that's happening within yourself. What do you actually want to express? A lot of times guys who crave feminine energy and, 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 and they become needy with it, they just are inexpressive men. They really are. And the men who actually are sometimes really, really creative and really expressive, they just become attached to that as the only thing that's giving them joy, which is um, the, uh, women. They, they go, okay, I'm so needy to women and I'm so attentive to them and I'm so creative and I'm a person that can see the beauty of them and I love that being with them. But they're also a person who get attached to the woman because they stop remaining the witness when they're around her. They start, you know, being engaged in her moods and, and all her moods are shifting and changing and they're just, oh my God, man, why is this girl doing this? I just want to love her and be soft with her. And you see many guys who are really, really soft and gentle and, and they're too expressive in a sense of like, they don't know how to be the witness. And in doing that, they uh, become someone that the woman loses attraction for. It is so complicated sometimes for a man because he's always saying to himself, how can I begin to get women into my life but not need them? How can I get women in my life but not be needy? And my thing is, what are you needing from the feminine? What is the feminine right now? What is, the, what, is the, what is it about the feminine right now that you don't have? What a form of feminine energy you don't have? Ask yourself this because once you can start to notice, okay, what is the feminine that I don't have? Then you can start to and do set within yourself. And what I mean is the feminine, not mean like the physical, the physical form of the feminine, like in women. What is it about a woman that you actually need from her? Because you actually are not needing the woman. There's something that you're that you're loving, which is called part of the feminine part of her. And you're going, okay, this is the only thing that I can. This is the only way I can get the feminine form is through a woman. So you start attaching the only feminine, the only femininity I can get into my life is women. And many guys actually are completely lost with this. They go, feminine energy, or they go, the feminine is women. That's not the truth. The feminine is everything. The feminine is all of life. Anything you can witness is the feminine. Your changing emotions is the feminine. Anything that you can observe is the feminine. It's always changing. Your thoughts is the feminine. The sensations that happen to you bodily is the feminine. Can you remain the witness to the feminine? Can you be a man that's completely at ease with the feminine within himself? Can you express your heart? Can you express yourself to women? Can you express yourself to, to men, not being a gay form, but can you express yourself in a way that allows you to open and be honest and real and vulnerable 
and soft and gentle in the way you want to. Begin to really love the feminine itself. Not just women, but the feminine itself. Men who are the best with women have a strong relationship to feminine energy. Not just the feminine as far as a woman, but the feminine within himself. All of life at large. Men are able to, who are great as far as like with women, they're able to really see the beauty in everything. They're able to see the, 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 the quality of beauty everywhere. They're able to see that within themselves. They're able to see that in others. They're able to see that with women. Because they, ha they haven't just said, okay, only women are the feminine form. No, they want all of life is the feminine form. And they, may not, they might not even know this. You know, this is maybe just me bringing this to the forefront. But they may not even notice. But they're, they're with people and women in situations and are able to stay calm in these situations. They're able to be the witness of these situations that may go chaotic. And as much as you're able to be calm in chaotic situations will be the type of women you attract into your life as well. The more, chaos, the more of the witness you can be to chaos, the more of a feminine woman you attract into your life. Because I mean, you can handle all of her because you're calm to the feminine itself. And the deeper and the more full a woman is in expressing all the parts of her heart, the more she'll need a man who's really present and deep and unmoved by her changing feminine. Fall in love with the feminine, not just women. It, they're, they're not the only form of femi feminine. They're the most beautiful, sexy form that, we, that there is to a man, but fall in love with all the feminine itself. Really get in touch with the fact of, you know, what, is, I'm, what am I feeling right now? What is life all about? Can I sit here and really enjoy this moment and not need anything from it? Can I be fully in my body when I'm with others? Can I really see the beauty in other people that I meet? Can I really see the true beauty in a woman? Can I really see her? Can I see to the core of who she is? That requires a man who's completely focused in the witness of her. And this doesn't just happen with women. This happens with all people. Can you do this with all people? Because you get used to just noticing the feminine itself. And in noticing the feminine itself, when you go up to a woman, it's not this thing of, okay, can I build an emotional connection? Can I get to know her? Can I really see who she is as a woman? Can I connect with her? That just naturally happens because you're doing that all the time. The feminine is beautiful in all its forms. Start to remain present to the, fem the feminine itself, which means life itself as you're going throughout the day. And then as you see women and you're going out there and you're approaching, it just becomes the next feminine form for you to be present to and love that journey. Hmm. This is Sonny Solo for The Natural Lifestyles. And I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. There's so much shit that I gotta give you guys and I'm passionate about it. I really am. Until next time, be present and love the feminine.